the Tam and Dorian Levy, and welcome back to another episode of the 2020 NFL Season Predictions. Last episode we did Week 12, today we'll be doing Week 13, but before that, let's go over Week 12. Overall, I did pretty good in my predictions. I went 11-5, we had all 32 teams play this week. In terms of AFC, I got the Bills winning correct, that was a fun game, however... The Titans did win. A.J. Brown had a really nice game. We also had the Browns win against the Jaguars. The Dolphins beat the Jets, and the Steelers beat the Ravens in a very messy game. A lot of interesting storylines this week. That game got pushed back, finally played. In terms of AFC NFC, the Texans had a very fun win against the Lions. The Giants beat the Bengals. However, the Falcons did win. Um, it was like 43-6. to Um... In my predictions, I said if the Falcons won, I would have not have been surprised. But by that much, I was shocked. And also, the Patriots won. Bill Belichick had a great game coaching. A very wacky game here with the Saints and Broncos. An exciting game with the Chiefs and Buccaneers. Um, Washington did win, but I did get the Vikings correct. Kirk Cousins had a nice game. The Niners did win. They seemed to have the Rams number. Nice game plan by Kyle Shanahan. And the Packers and Seahawks won it in prime time. So, Week 13, everyone... Now, since Week 12 had some late start games, we do we do not have any Thursday Night Football. That's why this video is being uploaded on Saturday. So I thought, let's start in the AFC. I feel like we haven't given the AFC that much love here um, recently. So let's go over. With the Bengals and Dolphins, I think Miami will win this one. I think their defense has been pretty good over the past couple weeks. And I think against a struggling um, Bengals offense, the Dolphins could have a pretty nice win. Raiders, Jets, Las Vegas bounces back. I think they beat New York. New York is showing some flashes with Denzel Mims and some of the players, but ultimately, I think it's just a little too late. I think the Raiders win this. I think these two games will be decided by a good amount of points. This one's tough. This AFC South matchup between the Colts and Texans. Part of me, you know, wants to go... With, you know, Houston, because they look great. Deshaun Watson's been playing fantastic. But um, Will Fuller got suspended. And I thought the Colts are just a good team. They have a solid passing attack, even though it does have issues. I feel like their defense is overall good. I could see Houston win this, but I'm taking the Colts. I'm really excited for this game here with the Browns and Titans. Both AFC teams are 8-3, and three, um, which I think is really cool. You know, two teams I usually do not have, two teams are not usually leading the AFC are up there, so that's neat. You know, just a different season we've had, and I think this is a fun game that we're going to see between these two teams because they have two great running attacks. Derrick Henry, probably the best back in the NFL out of him or Dalvin Cook against Nick Chubb, who's a top five running back, and Kareem Hunt. So this is going to be a great game rushing attack wise. Both offenses are very similar with this play action. I'm going with the Titans. I just think they're a better team overall. I trust Ryan Tannehill more than Baker Mayfield. I like their defense a bit more, but I think that would be a very good game. I originally had the Chargers being the Patriots going, okay, Los Angeles with Justin Herbert going deep with the football against, you know, New England. Um, I, I thought, okay, Chargers win, let's move on. But I am going to change it to the Patriots. Um, looking at the Patriots wins, um, one came against Cal Murray and the Cardinals last week. He had an excellent scheme for that. Another one, Lamar Jackson, the Ravens. Bill Belichick usually does well against young quarterbacks. There are some exceptions, like last year he lost to Lamar and Deshaun Watson, and earlier this season he lost to Deshaun Watson. But I think it's a game where Bill Belichick just has a good game plan. You look at that defense stuff on Gilmore. is great. J.C. Jackson, a really good corner as well. I just think this is a game where Bill Belichick's going to have his defense play very well. I think it'll be a close game. It wouldn't shock me if the Chargers win, but I'm going with the Patriots. And then Sunday night, I think we're going to see the Chiefs primetime dominate Denver. Denver, I just don't think it's working out with Vic Fangio. I think it's time for him to go. So I have the Chiefs winning on Sunday night. When we go into the NFC here, nice to spend some time with these AFC games. I think the NFC is a bit more clear for the most part. Um, I have the Lions beating the Bears. Um... The Lions fire the head coach, Matt Patricia, the new person in there, Daryl Bevel. Watch his press conference. He seems, you know, good at the job. I don't know about what Chicago's doing, um, so I'm going with the Lions. I could see the Falcons here winning an upset game with Raheem Morris, have his defense playing better ever since he's become the interim head coach. But I'm going with the Saints. 
Um, I just really like what Sean Payton is doing with this offense. And this Saints defense is, I think, one of the best in the league. Cardinals-Rams. I'm going Rams. This is a tough game. I think this is going to be kind of the sleeper good game of the week, if you will. Um, I think both teams are very talented. Sean McVay is undefeated against the Cardinals since he's been the Rams head coach. I just think that these two teams have been very similar this season. This will be close. A lot of people like 50-50. I just trust the Rams more. The Cardinals have been making very easy mistakes, if that makes sense. A lot of the mistakes are like, ah, oh, you should do that. But that's the signs of a young team. The Rams do make mistakes. I just think Los Angeles is more clean in the game. I think the Seahawks will beat the Giants. I do think New York will keep it close with Seattle. I think it will be like, say, 13 to 27 within two scores. Um, Daniel Jones is out, so... Colt McCoy will be in for the Giants, praying for speed recovery for Jones. I think the Giants defense has some good plays, but I think Seattle will win. And then Packers will dominate the Eagles. I'm just done with this Eagles team. Last week's game was miserable. Um, their defense uh, let up a lot of big plays. Um, okay, we'll just ignore that here. Um, I have other windows open, so... Um, you know, and I think the the state of this offense for Philadelphia is ugly. I think the Green Bay Packers will get a big win. AFC versus NFC here. Cowboys Ravens. This was originally played on Thursday when I have a Tuesday. Um, I'm gonna go with the Cowboys as Tam is upset game of the week. Um, I just do not like the way Baltimore is looking. They looked very messy. Yes, the Ravens defense is great, but the Cowboys offense has big playmakers. I think the Cowboys will go in there. I think Dallas will come back from behind, win it, and will have heartbreak in Baltimore. And I think all next week, Wednesday onwards, is going to be about that Ravens heartbreak. I hope I'm wrong, but Andy Dalton's played good against the Ravens. He has that familiarity with them. I'm taking Dallas. I think Pittsburgh will beat Washington, but I think it will be close. The Washington, Washington football team's had some nice pieces. Terry McLaurin, Antonio Gibson, their defense, you know, Chase Young. Um, but I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are one of the best teams in the NFL. They're currently undefeated. Um, I think this game will be somewhat close. I will probably say Washington scores about, we'll go 17 or 16, Steelers score about 33. So I think Pittsburgh will win, but I don't think it'll be like a blowout game. I think Washington will keep it somewhat competitive. Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson, Dalvin Kirk all connecting in Minnesota. I think they'll beat Jacksonville. The Jaguars did look decent with Mike Glennon, but the Vikings just look spectacular on offense, and the Jaguars look really lost. These two teams have an interesting history of the Yannick and Gok Gokwe trade. I'm going with the Vikings. This is tough. Bills, Niners, two great coaching staffs. Sean McDermott, Kyle Shanahan. You know, the Niners playing in Arizona because they can't play in this team. I love how the Niners and Cardinals have been interacting on social media, media very friendly. This is tough. I could see it happening either way. I think I, I'm one, part of me wants to say the Niners is because they're very well coached. And it's like, well, they don't make easy mistakes. But they don't have, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo and George Kittle out. But a lot of the defensive players came back. But then I'm going to go with the Bills ultimately. I think it'll be close in Arizona. I think this will be kind of an odd game. But I think it'll be a close one. I think the Bills are going to get a huge win. So everyone, that is my picks here for week 13. Should be a very interesting week here. Let's go to fantasy. I think we're about into the playoffs. I won last week. Um, I'll have Big Ben against our Washington defense. Dalvin Cook, James Robinson, yes. Both defenses fairly weak. Tal Lock against the Giants. He had a quiet week, but sure. Chase Claypool, Cooper Cup. I need to get a new kicker. But besides, I kind of like this. Or do I do... Well, I'm going to go Aaron Rodgers. I just think Washington's defense could make some good plays, potentially. Big Ben's questionable. I hope he's okay. Antonio Gibson. Who do I start? I mean, you know, hmm. Dang, this is tough. I like Gibson a lot. I, but he is against the Steelers. DeAndre Swift's been nice, but he's questionable. I think I'll keep this here. The Dolphins' defense has been nice. I don't know if I'll make the playoffs in this league. I don't think I deserve to be. I've been very inconsistent. Um, when we go to this other one, well, I've kind of mounted a comeback here. I won last week. Um, I have a big one here. 
Only on this team, Justin Herbert could be a potential trap game, but I'll start him. Nick Chubb, James Robinson, yes. Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, yes. Okay, I need a tight end. Michael Thomas, without Taysom Hill. Um, I, I think we'll keep him. Maybe Julio. I might switch up the last minute just because that Saints defense has been good. But, you never know, Packers against the Eagles, yes. And Justin Tucker starting. Thank you all for watching this video. I know this was probably one of my longer predictions. There's just a lot to cover. A crazy time, you know, for me in college and really sports in general. So uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Um, hope everyone stays safe with this season. I'll see you all next week for some more predictions. Take care and have a good one.